Hi there, it's Peter here. You're watching the GreenSock 101 free online course for front-end developers and designers where you can learn a lot about GreenSock API and web animations in 60 minutes. In this video, we will continue from the previous example. We'll still keep using the on complete callback functions and we also learn how to animate some of the SVG attributes. Alrighty, so instead of having this console lock, we can create a new timeline inside of the load content function. And that will be a timeline which will animate the loader out. And then at the end of it, we'll bring the content in. So we'll start with setting a new variable TL loader out, which will be new timeline light. And this TL loader out will have a couple twins. Okay, the first thing we want to do, we want to animate the loader to opacity one or to auto alpha one, because at the end of our previous function or timeline, we are animating it to auto alpha zero. So after a couple of repeats, this is the last twin we triggering. We wanna make sure that the loader becomes visible. So two, the loader will be the element 0 0.3 duration and we'll set the auto alpha to 1. We'll also scale it up slightly so 1.3 and the ease will be power 0 is none. Okay so this should make the loader fade in instead of bringing the console we should see the loader fade in after a couple of repeats. That's the animation we are now playing with and we'll continue after that we want to stagger the dots okay so we can actually borrow it from the loader itself we want to fade them in the same fashion as during the loading animation so we're borrowing the stagger from twin from the loader tl loader timeline okay the only difference here is that we want these two twins to happen at the same time which means we can use the zero absolute position and run them at the same time. If we run this in a browser, we should see after the couple of repeats, the loader stands, stays where we want it. Now we can close the dev tools. We won't need it anymore. Going back to the JavaScript and the following twin will be to fade the loader out. Okay, so we'll use the two twin loader 0 0.3. Again, the duration, as you can see, I'm not being very creative with the durations, but fine tuning the timings is another skill that you need to work out on your own. We'll animate this to 150 top offset or 150 pixels from the current position. And we'll want to fade it out, which is auto alpha zero and the ease will be back is in. Okay, we want to slightly move down before it, sh it shoots off to the top. And we want this to happen after slight delay. Okay, so we can just extend it to see it on the screen by writing plus equals 0 0.3. And this should move the loader after this slight delay up to the top of the screen. Let's see if we've got it working in the browser. Two repeats and moving up, okay? With a slight bounce down, which is the ease, back ease in, okay? We can also tweak it slightly and at the start of the timeline, we can set the dots to have a different background color, okay? So this will make sure that the user knows, okay, cool, something's happening, the dots used to be empty and now they full, means the content is loaded, so background color, this blue, I'll borrow it from the other elements from the SAS file. As you can see, I'm writing the background color with the common case, okay? So if you're animating some property elements with two words, make sure you convert it into background color into the common case. Beautiful, now reviewing this in a browser, we should see the dots being full color and then shooting off to the top of the screen. 
and all we need to do now is to create a callback function on the on the end of the on complete of these timelines so on complete will trigger a new function which will be content in okay simple function which will have guess what it will just have a simple tl dot play so function content in simple function with a simple call to play the first timeline this should wrap it up for us and we should see the animation of the content after the two repeats bang bang and we don't see it and guess why because as you know we set the header to opacity zero when we were tweaking the flickering of the header and preloader so this is still applied to our header we'll need to tweak the initial timeline and set the header header to auto alpha one okay let's see if this fixes it for us bang that's it beautiful intro animation i should say beautiful preload animation followed by the initial twins of the first timeline now we've got a nice simple preloader fake preloader animation followed by the introduction of the original timeline and the final tweak we'll do will avoid the flickering of the loader on a page load by setting the default opacity to zero and that will prevent the loader to show up before we start animating it Okay, so this is nice and clean and then we're fading into the content in the real world you would have the preloader obviously connected to some real downloaded data that it fires the load content timeline after the content is loaded okay here we are faking it we're repeating it multiple times and then firing it up but all of the preloading JavaScript libraries they have a callback function at the end of the loading and that's when you would fire the load content function and bring the content in. We'll keep exploring the GreenSock API in the following video but if you want to download the working files and follow me step by step and also watch the whole course without the annoying YouTube ads then hop onto my website and sign up for free. The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video.